the places you go to once you start a search. And so if you're going to have a tool that does that that's truly user driven, you need to be able to turn it on and off. Right? It shouldn't be all the time, like a lot of current attention data approaches. Um, the data that is uh, captured or created should be uh, visible and editable by the user. And we talked about cases where maybe you can or maybe you can't. Um, and we had a debate about whether those boundaries were legitimate or <coughs> legacy thinking. And then we also decided you should have selective portability about that data, the ability to send it to any search provider who might want to provide you results based on that. So that, that's about both privacy and access rights as to what does that search provider get to do with the data after you give it to them. Thank you. Okay, building an open ID. All right. I want to build an open ID provider. Who did that one? With, is it the one with strong authentication? Yes, with strong auth. Okay. We we had a good we had a good uh, couple of sorry. <laughs> We had a couple of good conclusions come out or consensus come out of that um, that should be up on the board. I'm trying to remember them quickly, but they, they'll be available. Well, you could go there and read them. I, I, I doubt I'd be able to find them quickly. So. Okay. That's why we did this, so you could tell us at the end of the day what's there. Portable context, ABI. <clears throat> Joseph, he's not here. Did someone go to that session? It's a B on that sheet, but. Okay, <laughs> portable contacts. A, it is a B, but it's a P, okay. <laughs> Identity Commons balancing the whole and the parts. This was the outcome of the session. This really big map. Some people are trying to look bad. Anyways, I actually, wrote this after the last IAW, and I'm gonna take it to dinner so you can look at it more, but it basically says if we succeed balancing all the cool parts of, the, of our community and the whole, we'll have a thriving community and a really cool identity layer for the internet, and if we don't succeed balancing these two out, we'll have a degrading internet or Google's on in the ACLU pizza movie. <laughs> um, so, it basically talks about early warnings if we're focusing too much on the parts and the groups or too much on the whole, and next actions that can help us stay in the best sides of both. Um, so I'll, you can look at it over dinner, and we might talk about it tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay, paradoxes. So I was uh, trying to give an everything you know is wrong talk and was shocked actually that most of them seemed to agree with me by the end. So. Uh, Obviously, the community is, uh, is much more willing to accept some of these ideas that um, ease of use uh, can be a bug, that uh, user-centered control can, can be a bug and have negative aspects when trying to examine the privacy consequences of identity and tying identity with lots of internet activity. Um, and I put the challenge in front of people to imagine they were building all their systems in, uh, in China before Falun Gong was uh, made illegal by the uh, Communist Party. And what would have happened if you know Falun Gong had been mapped completely on a social network and then was declared illegal? And how would you build your system imagining that will happen in the future because it will? So okay. thank you, Brad. Um, XRDS, tell me more. Yeah, we dealt with XRDS mostly in an open ID context. Uh, John and Drummond wowed us. It was good, and the best practices will be on dev.xri.net. Thank you. Okay. Um, can you stop playing with the t-shirts, please? Because we didn't hand them out yet. Okay, OAuth and Liberty. So this is about um, covering IDWSF use cases uh, with a RESTful uh, approach and uh, figure out uh, exactly how OAuth can help and what extensions, if any, need to be uh, done with OAuth. Unfortunately, we didn't have any uh, uh, many OAuth people in the room, but side conversations indicate that there's interest on both sides. 
Thank you. Okay, VRM personal address manager. You're popular today, Joe. Uh, well, actually, that uh, particular session was not very popular uh, <laughs> because I got sucked into uh, the Joseph Smart session. So we're going to do it tomorrow. That's, that's why tomorrow is great. Okay. Um, demand open ID for open ID, please. We talked about a new tool at demand.id.net for demanding open ID support at the site to you every day. It feels good. Are you gonna, so it's going to grow and be big? We yeah. hope so. Okay. Open social RESTful API. Okay. We did that already. Oh, that's you. Yeah, so we talked about open social uh, RESTful APIs, which are really, really, really similar to portable context APIs, and we're talking about how we can unify, what the parts that should be unified on those. Um, and everybody was happy, and we're all using XRDS and OAuth and all that, and common standards as much as possible. Okay, hey, Pat, Cord Space and Fedlets. You didn't do the whole. Name is Card Space and Fiddles and Sound Loma. Do you want the red shoes? Can I sign you up for your challenge? Yes. <laughs> no, I've got to go home. Today. I won't be here tomorrow, so if anybody wants to catch me, catch me tonight before I go. So um, we just looked over, kind of reprised some of the work that went on for the Concordia interoperability um, session at uh, RSA last month. So we looked at uh, how we could get. Sound to and information cards to interact, um, and we also looked at um, the OpenSSO project in some detail and how we can now uh, deploy and get Sound to running in uh, just a few minutes, and it worked. Thank you. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> XDI with ATI, Andy. I wave my arms around. Looked at me blankly. <laughs> I felt like it didn't go particularly well in terms of a uh, exercise in explaining what I was trying to explain. Okay. It happens. You have to have the failures too, right? Okay. And the final session. It was late in the making day. Making sense of all the announcements. And where is the woman who take notes? You're standing. Well, okay. So more information is needed. We, yeah, we talked about the announcements and we decided that as a community we didn't have enough information and we should do some sense making on the identity gang list and gather it up all in a wiki and understand what Facebook and MySpace and Microsoft and Yahoo and Google are doing with all the announcements they've made in the last month with their open social-ish stuff. Okay. That was a big day. So let's have a round of applause for ourselves. Now we're going to go to the more traditional uh, style of rapping, uh, but I hope you liked the more specific outputs from the groups of what we did. So can we have quiet, please, for a few more minutes? Um, now it's a, I'd like to hear from everybody, but particular people who are new, who, like what were the highlights and new learnings and interesting things that you saw today that you'd like to perform? 